All right, we have the Blender default cube. We're gonna make a new mesh, choose plane. We're going to add a solidify modifier. Then we go to the shading tab, create a new material. Add image texture. And I chose for a cardboard texture. The solidify modifier creates a rim, but when you add an image texture, you get these, uh, these lines and you can't unwrap this without applying the solidify modifier. What you can do is add another node, an input node, texture coordinate, and then connect the object to the vector and then choose, uh, instead of flat, box. All right, fixed it. I can show you what happens when you choose a brick texture, you get a wall. And then when you change the thickness, you can create a wall without losing the brick texture. But we don't wanna create a building, we wanna create cardboard. And the side of a cardboard doesn't look like this. It looks a bit different. We need to create another material. This is the side of the cardboard. We don't see anything happening yet. Because we go to the modifier and in the materials tab, we choose rim and select one. All right, almost done. We have to add a vector mapping. It needs some coordinates to work. I think, like this, and connect the object, and then scale the Z axis, doesn't work, no, we have to add, we have to put this on box. So this is how far I got, um, now I have a question for you guys, um, if I make a loop cut in the plane, and I would bend it, then you can see that the sides do not follow the shape. So if any of you would like to put the answer in the comment section, that would be really great. Um, I would really like to know.